Hey y'all, welcome back to Retail Remedy. I am attempting to do a vlog. Let me turn off my car. <laughs> We're actually at the second location. The lighting is a little freaking, let me see if I could change that. There we go, so I can look normal and not all washed out. So anyways, we're at our second stop. So the first stop we had went to was in a parking garage, so I couldn't, it was dark in there, so I couldn't do like a proper intro. But anyways, I wanted to take y'all along thrifting with me. It's already chaotic. I basically already went to one little Goodwill store. Um, I'm in a good part of town, y'all. And um, trying out a little new look new hair who this but yeah y'all i already went to one goodwill and i was only able to get two items so i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what we got from the last one um and i'll show y'all the clips and stuff we could just show y'all a couple of things so basically i got these ted baker wedges and they were 15 dollars. y'all just take my word for it it was 15 dollars uh, they needed me to wipe them down a little bit, but for the most part, they're in great condition. And like new with tags, they sell for like 130 something. And like used, I've seen them sold for up to about 70 or $80. So I thought I'd go ahead and give them a try. $15 isn't too bad of a flip. And then I got these pants, which are actually familiar to us in... Um, also something that I haven't really been selling lately and that is Prana, but don't worry, let me explain. So as y'all can see, they are new with tags. They were also 15 bucks. Normally I don't pick these up anywhere other than the bins, but since they're new with tags and these are the ones that we had last time that I showed y'all and these are the men's ones, which I have already sold, but I sold them for like really cheap, like 20 bucks. But these are the Zion Stretch 2 Slim Fit Pants. They sell for $65. So it's a big jump, first of all. And I think mine may have been like an older Zion. It may not have been the Zion 2. Either way it goes, $15 for $65. I thought that was a pretty good flip. And these are the two items we got in the last stop. So now we're headed to the second location. Like I said, please excuse the lighting issues throughout the video y'all already know this camera and me we're just now getting to know each other <laughs> so yeah this is me trying to actually show y'all clearly the goodwill boutique which i'll talk about later on in the video so the first rack i started with was the sweaters that's been my thing lately i do normally start with shirts but like short sleeve shirts and blouses and then maybe move on to the sweater section, but we're in the sweater season, so that's what I've been doing. There honestly wasn't much here at this store though. This was a CNC California shirt, which I used to pick up from the bins, but I have a few that are sitting right now. I flipped back because this is a intimately free people shirt, but I wouldn't pay up for that brand. So I just kept moving. Since I didn't find anything on that first rack, I went ahead and headed off to the rest of the racks in the store. If y'all can't tell, this is a very, very small store. Like it's literally just a few racks. So I decided to go through the jeans and usually I can find some good gems in this store I have before and I don't normally buy a whole lot of stuff from this store but every once in a while I get lucky oh the frame jeans and even they have these pretty low at ten dollars like maybe a few months ago that would have been great in my mind <laughs> but um, I've learned my lesson so these miss me jeans I thought about maybe I would like to pick up until I saw the price tag y'all $20 for Miss Me jeans are just a little too much for me, but I will continue to pick them up at the bins if I see them. Okay, so these are Pilcro, and as you can see, they are the new tag. $14.99 didn't seem too bad for these because look at how they are made. Like, I absolutely love this. The raw hem, the extra fabric detail underneath. 
I definitely picked it up so I can do some research on it. But I ended up not getting them actually. I ended up uh, looking it up and seeing what the comps were and $14.99 was just too much for what the flip looked like it would be, which was right around like 40 bucks. Okay, so hey y'all. So my last stop was pretty terrible. I'm not going to lie. I forgot to mention that it was the boutique Goodwill that they put in like the good area of town, like thinking, I guess, that they were going to have like a lot more higher brands and stuff. And don't get me wrong, that Goodwill usually does have some pretty good brands, but they've changed up the store a little bit. Anyways, I didn't get anything from that store because also since it is a quote unquote boutique Goodwill, that's their, I guess, excuse for overpricing things so even though it didn't even have many top brands the brands they did have were a little bit more pricey than I wanted it to be and we're gonna move on to this new Goodwill actually this is my second time coming to this one um, I discovered it the last time I went consignment shopping y'all and there's just one thing about this Goodwill that I do not like <laughs> and that is that it stinks in here okay y'all it literally is musty in this Goodwill like I carry around with me a bit of essential oil I don't know if I'll be able to show y'all because it's way too washed out but this is jasmine essential oil I use it because I'm allergic to most perfumes but luckily the last time I was here I had it and I literally put it on my nostrils that's how bad this store stinks but when I was in here last time I found a new tags packed dress I found a Gretchen Scott shirt and a few other like goodies or whatever. I ended up spending quite, I don't want to say a lot here, rather. I just spent a lot of time here and they had some good brands. So hopefully some things have gone on sale. Honestly, I'm going to be real with y'all. I feel like the color sales have been going back and forth to the same colors for a long time. Like if it's not green, it's white or it's red. I rarely see blue tags go on sale uh is there another color i think that might be it but i feel like green and white are always like the the not the greatest sales y'all let me know if like what colors are the best colors at y'all's goodwills and honestly when it's white tags I, I feel like there's not even a whole lot of them in the store but anyways we're moving on to this stop let me just dab my nose child <laughs> Should open walk very close and the door will open okay and we're back in the sweaters slash jackets which this store kind of somewhat combines them the first thing I saw was this moth sweater in pink it was super soft and nice I love picking up moth at the bins this one was $8.99 so it being under $10 actually piqued my interest for a moment but I also saw that there was a stain on it and just in general I don't pick up or pay up for moth, so I ended up putting it down. This was a mink pink jacket, which I've had one other thing, or maybe two other things with mink pink. They sometimes can have good comps if you can find the right piece. They sell really cute jackets and sweaters, embroidered, printed. It just depends on the, the piece. This was a Obermeyer skiing jacket and it was for teens. I ended up picking it up and doing some research on it, but I didn't buy it because the teen ones don't do as well as the adult ones and $13 was just a little bit much. This was a really nice free people jacket, which I thought maybe I could pick up but when I saw the price tag I knew I couldn't pick it up so it would be nice if that one was half price I probably would have picked it up then but yeah free people I definitely don't pay up for as often anymore so I moved on to the jeans and they had quite a bit of Adriana Goldschmied which I used to think maybe was a at least a bread and butter but the ones that I've had have sold for very, very cheap, so I don't pick them up as often anymore. 
but these genes, these MIH genes, these were actually uh, a brand that I picked up a long time ago. And I would have picked these up if the price wasn't so high. They can do okay. And I was also afraid because they were a colored gene. So this was a pair of rag and bone jeans that were $17.99. And these really tested me because I, I love rag and bone. I've done really well with it, but it has been declining lately. These had like a really interesting design, definitely grunge slash punk slash biker, I guess really interesting zippers and everything when i looked it up unfortunately the comps were very low especially for a size 24 which is kind of hard to see here so i didn't think it was worth it for the 17.99 but if it was on sale i definitely would have picked these up so lastly i wanted to show y'all before my camera died that i had found three pairs of rothy's for 7.49 a piece I hurried up and put them in my cart and you know that was kind of like keeping me motivated because the first stops were not all that great. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the mini haul now so that y'all can see what we got. Alrighty. Hey y'all. This is the next day. Uh, my camera did die. Unfortunately this time it was my fault because I forgot to like click the camera all the way off when I stopped recording at the last Goodwill, but y'all, I wish I could have got more film of that freaking Goodwill because that place is like a little honey pot for me. Stink aside and everything, y'all. Because <laughs> um, actually this time when I went in there, it wasn't as stinky. Well, here's the thing. This is why I thought it was gonna be completely musty again, because it wasn't like just when you walk into the store, it was like all the way through the back of the store, it was musty. So I didn't understand that. I thought that was like a permanent situation. Anyways, <laughs> I decided to keep this uh, video as a one video because what I was gonna do was just add the stuff that I got from the store to the bins haul that I'm gonna do later. But instead, I'm going to just do a little mini haul right now. So I'm gonna start with the shoes y'all because right on well, not at the beginning, but right when I got to the shoe section, um, I found three pairs of Rothy's, y'all, and they were all marked at $7.49. Three pairs. So these are the first pair. Here are the second pair. And I will be taking these little things in here out and washing them and cleaning them so they can be nice and brand new or at least look brand new. And then I got these, which I believe that they took the original one out of here and they put this one in here, but like still these are Rothy's at the end of the day. So whatever you can basically, you might be able to buy these things, these cause these little things come out. So no big deal. But anyways, I was looking all up and down the aisle to like, do they have any more? Cause I sure will take all of them, $7.49 each one of them. Okay, so let's start with this dress that I kind of went back and forth with myself about, but I ended up getting anyway. This beautiful lace over nude, which y'all know I love, is by, let me just show y'all the whole thing before I tell y'all. I'm trying to butter y'all up a little bit so y'all don't be like, what girl? It's by Cupshe. Yes, Cupshe. Now, the reason why I'm saying that is if you had any type of experience with Cupshe, y'all know that that brand is like very, very up and down. But what I noticed was, if I could find it for y'all here, it is actually new with tags and the, the tag was actually at the bottom of the dress. So what this is, is Cupshe and a collaboration with, oh Lord, I didn't forgot it. What is it? I'm gonna put it on the screen. I'm gonna put it on the screen. It's a, it's a collaboration with Cupshe and y'all know sometimes collabs do way better than the brand, okay? So I looked it up and I saw some pretty good numbers for this one. This dress is all out of stock on Cupshe itself. And the only ones that I saw that were available on 
Poshmark and eBay were the short ones. So I'm kind of excited about that, kind of excited about the exclusivity. I did pay $14.99 for it, so we're hoping to get one of those good numbers on the sales, okay? The next thing I wanna show y'all is this dress by Faithful the Brand. And the interesting part about this is that there were a few things from this brand at the store but I ended up only getting this one because it was the only one that was priced in a way where I felt like it was okay for like a flip so let me show y'all that I'm definitely gonna go back when the when the uh when the prices change or whatever like I'm gonna go back for the different color tags but this one was $11.49 and I saw some out there uh above 50 so I don't have exact numbers exactly now, but Faith with the Brand is definitely a bolo, but it depends on what the piece is, okay? So I absolutely love this little pattern and the openness with the open back and open front to this dress. It's gonna be great for um, springtime if it sits that long. Now this next thing, I'm super excited about. This is my first time with this brand, definitely a bolo brand, y'all but there's some asterisks involved as Jack and Ryan would say. So this beautiful navy, um, it's like an accordion style fabric dress and it does have a belt that wraps into a really nice bow. The girl on the model picture was wearing the bow to the side. It looks so cute. It's by Millie. So here we go, Millie. This is a size eight, which is also a good size. It was only $14.99, and this is still on the Millie website for about 300 and something dollars. I can't remember the exact number. But everywhere else where it was listed, it was still listed for like 200, like upper $200. So I was ecstatic because yes, I've actually found Millie before, but I didn't list it, or actually I don't even think I bought it because it wasn't a good style. So when it comes down to Millie, you do have to check the style because it is still absolutely a bolo brand, can still really do good numbers, but certain styles are just not doing as well anymore and I wouldn't pay up for them, but I would definitely get them at the end. And speaking of Jack and Ryan, this is a Ryan find. Um, I actually picked up a pair of Outdoor Voices leggings. So this is something I never do. I've had Outdoor Voices one time before and like every time Ryan's like, I can sell these like nobody's business. I'm like, tell me your secrets. I have no idea how to do that. But this time it was actually on the color tag sale. So the color was white and these are only $8.99 so it was only $4.50 and sometimes if it's if it's half off and it's like one of those brands that is like yeah I might still get it if it's the correct number at half off like I probably wouldn't have bought it if it said like $14.99 and it was a white tag because I wouldn't have paid above five but definitely I think still a good find this next item is a little bit of a risky risk but we love our risks over here let's just say it you know all right, so this beautiful ruffle tear dress, I absolutely love that asymmetrical ruffle right there. That just looks so whimsical and playful. Um, it is by a brand called Endless Rose. Now, it is new with tags, and yes, I did pay a little bit up for it. No, it was not on sale, but I absolutely love this dress, and I just... This is the type of stuff like I just see myself selling just in general. Like I love, you know, dresses, really formal attire and stuff like that. Like later in life, I feel like we will evolve and have a lot more formal attire. But I paid $14.99 for it. The original price, ooh, actually I don't remember the exact original price. But I do know that people have it listed for $100 and better on the reselling sites. So I went ahead and thought it was a pretty good investment for 14 bucks. I hope I can get the 100, but I would definitely take like 85, you know, 75. Because I feel like that's one of those dresses that, you know, people buy for a party. Like it's so like, you know, so fun. So this next item is a Eileen Fisher piece, which I haven't picked up in such a long time. I definitely don't pay up for Eileen Fisher anymore. It used to be a bolo brand when I first started selling, but this one is a basic little blazer jacket and it was on the color tag sale so this one was only marked at $6.99 so it literally was $3.50 and I was like okay pay $3 for Eileen Fisher why not you know 
because it'll at least sell for 20. You know, I'm giving a low ball, like, you know, I'm probably trying to listen, maybe 29. I don't know. I don't know what this goes for, but I know Eileen Fisher is now pretty finicky. But when I first started, like Eileen Fisher was like, I felt good when I found Eileen Fisher. This next item is actually also something that I just bought because it was on the color tag sale. Wait, let me look at it. Yeah, basically, because I don't think I would have purchased it if it wasn't. But this beautiful kind of like, I don't know why, but it gives me like 70s um jumpsuit wide leg so we're in trend and or on trend rather it's by super down okay so full disclosure let's see super down is not one of my best brands like i absolutely have had the worst trouble selling it it's by revolve so it's one of those pretty popular brands so i would say it's a bolo but it depends on the piece Again, it was the color tag sale, so it was $11.49. I paid like $6.25 for it. Is that right? No, that's like, I'm wrong. I'm wrong about this. $5 and some, some cents. It's not linen. I thought it was. It definitely gives off this linen kind of vibe. Like, it, it should be look like linen. But anyways, I thought it was a pretty good piece. And I did pretty good with the sales things this week because sometimes I go on the color tag sales and I actually don't end up buying any of the color tags. So, last item. No, 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 no not last item second to last item okay this really nice cropped sweater by good american y'all so good american it's a finicky one i'm not gonna lie i thought it was gonna do great and i have i have one thing that's good american that will not sell and it's a little bikini top and i'm like it's new with tags and everything y'all i don't get it but anywho i went ahead and picked this one up because it had good comps i actually looked up the comps in the store so i can make sure like i'm not just going crazy so the comps were about 45 and up so i only paid 8.99 for it and that's why i was kind of going back and forth with myself because under 10 dollars sounded very good to me but at the same time i know what kind of trouble i've had with good american um even like one of their athletic jumpsuits i sold for very cheap and i was like you know i don't know but anyways we're gonna end it off with a little bang you know it's 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 not gonna look like a bang right at first but when i tell y'all what it is it's a little bit of a bang because this is a this is a new bolo brand find for me so to me it's great so this really nice a little unsuspecting shirt here um well it's like a sweater it has um it has this little high neck feature here as well y'all no, y'all can't really see the design of it but and it also has like a little ruffle or whatever but it's like a little sweater and it's striped it is by Derek Lamb 10 Crosby okay so I think 10 Crosby is like one of their offshoot brands as y'all can see it has the dry cleaning tag so it's been dry cleaned which is great it's in pretty good condition it was only marked for $7.49 but stuff from like Derek Lamb was all like above 50, like a, a good amount above 50, like 90, 100, these types of things. I didn't look up this particular thing, but I figured, yeah, why not? What I paid, $7? Yeah, $7.49, why not? Okay, so can y'all see like the inconsistency in these prices a little bit? <laughs> so it is 29% wool and then the rest of it is viscose and polyamide or polyester, I guess um but you know the little bit of wool the sleeves have some cute little buttons like there are some cute little additions to this kind of seemingly simple piece so i was excited to see that name i've never had it but i know it's in my bolo book and it's my first time finding it as i have already mentioned so that's it you guys that's what we got from the stores um yeah it was a good time like i really had a good time I, the the last store definitely made the whole trip worth it because uh the second store had me in my feels i'm not gonna lie <laughs> i was yeah i don't know i was kind of doubting but i should have known like the the boutique i never buy anything from the boutique but yeah so i will see y'all in the next one it's going to be a ben's haul um and actually it might be two ben's trips because i'm looking at a pile of stuff i have now and i'm gonna go to the bins again so that i could just kind of bulk it up for y'all okay I will see y'all again next time. Thank y'all for watching. Bye.